going to show you our single phase half wave and bridge control to rectifier order code is 46573. So this is the trainer kit um, of single phase half wave and bridge control to rectifier. These are the mimic diagram given here on the trainer kit. There are 4 SCR. You can see here this is the lamp load. This is transformer. There are this is UJT firing circuit 1 and this is the second UJT firing circuit. There are two firing angle controller, this and this. This is the main switch to turn on or off the kit. This is user manual and patch cards. These all are included in this kit and to perform the experiments, we will need a, C we will need a CRO or a DSO to observe the waveform. Our first experiment is to study the signal, uh, single phase half wave controlled rectifier and observe the effect of firing analog of angle of waveform. So this is the circuit diagram and this is the connection that we need to build. So first connect G to G and K K to K. Now connect the anode of SCR here with the lamp load and connect this power supply here and connect this with the cathode of the SCR. Now we will observe the waveform across the lamp load. Keep this in minimum position. So this is so this is the output waveform. Now I am giving the firing pulse. Like this, so this is the output waveform now. I'm giving the firing pass, and this is the waveform. You can see here. Compare this waveform with the waveforms given here in the manual. Our next object is to study the bridge control rectifier and observe the effect of firing angle of waveform. So for this we need to build this connection like this. First I am going to connect the SCR like this given here in the figure. So first connect the anode of A1 with the cathode of second SCR. and the anode of SCR4 <coughs> the cathode of third SCR this one K3. Now short this two a2 and A3 and this will be connected at the lamp load. This one is negative terminal so connect here. Also 
short this to cathode K1 and K4. and connect this here at the lamp lamp low this is the positive terminal of lamp now connect the power supply from here at a1 and connect this and A4 now connect G1 to G1 and K1 to K1 connect G2 with G2 here and K2 with K2 now connect G3 with G3 and K3 with K3 and G4 with G4 and K4 with K4. Now we will observe the waveform across the lamp load. So connect this negative terminal here and this positive terminal here. Keep this at minimum position. So this is the waveform now we are going to give firing pulses to the ACR. So you can see the effect of firing angle controller at the output waveform.